Hello and welcome to Turn Our Time Tutorials. This video is on how to create the waiting for answer rule for email messages in Outlook 2013. I'm sure there's many times when you send out email correspondence that you can't actually take any action on until you receive an answer from somebody. We're going to create a waiting for answer rule which allows you to drop a copy of a waiting for answer email into a waiting for answer folder as soon as you send it. So we're going to create a rule. I'm currently looking at my inbox. I'm going to left click on rules and at the bottom I'm going to left click on manage rules and alerts. I don't want to click create rule because if I were to do that only a limited amount of selections are available. And left click manage rules and alerts. It's going to bring up the rules and alerts dialog box. We're going to left click on new rule and we want to apply this rule to messages I send, which is the bottom choice in the top box. Left click on next and now we want to tell Outlook that we want to move a message that's assigned to a specific category. So left click assigned to category category. Now at the bottom it's going to add that option and we're going to left click on the underlined blue category so we can tell it what category we're using. I have a waiting for answer category that already exists which I'm going to use. If you don't have this category created yet simply left click on new, type in a name for the category and select a color. Just select any color other than red or yellow which are already used in the Turner Time system for other things and then click on OK and your new category will be created. I'm going to click cancel since my category already exists. I'm going to make sure a check mark is placed in the box next to the category I'm going to use and I'm going to left click on OK. Now it says that we're going to apply this rule after I send a message assigned to the waiting for answer category. Left click on next. And what we want to do is move this message to a specified folder. So left click move a copy to the specified folder. Again in the bottom box we're going to see this new criteria added. We're going to left click on the blue underlined specified so we can tell it which folder to use. The list of all my folders is going to come up and I have a folder called waiting for answer. Make sure that's highlighted and left click on OK. You could also left click the new button and create your folder on the fly just like you did with your category. And now we're going to apply this rule after I send a message assigned to the waiting for answer category and we're going to move a copy of the message to the waiting for answer folder. I'm going to left click on finish and Outlook is just letting you know that the rule will not work unless Outlook is running which is only natural. So left click on OK and left click on OK again. Now when I create a new email message I'm going to left click on options. I'm going to left click on the square in the more options grouping to open up the properties dialog box. Here's where I have the option of assigning the waiting for answer category. So left click on the arrow next to categories and left click your waiting for answer category. It's now assigned to my waiting for answer category and I can click on close and I'm going to go ahead and just send a test email to myself to show you how this works. And I would just compose my emails I normally do and send it as I normally do. So if I am waiting to hear back on someone for, from a proposal before I can take any action, when I send out this message I'd like for a copy to go in my sent items folder where it automatically go as well as a copy in my waiting for answer folder. So I'm going to send this message. I'm going to go into my waiting for answer folder and you can see that here is my test message. So I could open this up and say oh yes I was waiting on an answer from John about this proposal before I could take any action so I can use my waiting for answer folder to follow up on emails. Creating a rule is quite simple and very helpful to keep you effective using email. If you have any questions please email info at getturnertime.com. Thanks for watching and have a productive day.